Good morning, everyone. Here is the Cenobo Island and Southwest Florida update as of April 8th, 2023. Happy Easter! The City of Sanibel just posted the agenda for a code enforcement hearing on Monday the 10th at 1 p.m. for the Big Arts Building. This is the first time I have seen a notice for code enforcement hearing since I first started reporting on Sanibel six months ago. The hearing is just for one case, a Sanibel resident and her tree trimming service is being fined for irreversible violation in the form of removing a tree that had an active pair of nesting osprey. Removal of the tree destroyed the nest and habitat. The city is asking for $5,000. I hope they live stream this hearing because I'm very curious to see how this is handled. The beach bucket program is being brought back to the Sanibel beaches and thanks to SCCF, Bailey's General Store, and the City of Sanibel. These sponsors provide white buckets at the entrances of the beaches for beachgoers to use to collect their trash while on the beach. Then when the visitors leave the beach, they should take the bucket back to the entrance, empty the trash into the bigger trash can, and return the bucket to the station. The program also asks for local volunteers to keep track of the buckets, make sure they are clean and in good condition, and make sure the stations are in good condition too. Update to the man who attacked someone with a box cutter on April 5th while working on a job site on Sanibel Island. It was his employer that he attacked. He is charged with one count of aggravated battery causing bodily harm or disability. His bond is set at $25,000. As of today, he has not paid bail, so he's still in custody. His address is in New York, so I assume he has no one in the area to bail him out. And that is it for today. Sorry for the short update, but I got a bunny cake to bake. I hope you, I hope you all have a wonderful Easter. Thanks for listening.